Hi everyone, welcome to Advice to Think Twice. This is Monica and I'm doing our October monthly readings. And this is going to be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I'm using the Raven's Prophecy Tarot deck and the Le Vampire Oracle. Please make sure to watch all your placements, your sun, your moon, your rising, your venus. You can also cross watch, but only take what resonates as it resonates with your situation. These are general readings. And for a private reading, the information is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't. Thank you so much if you have. Engagement really helps out the channel and keeps me motivated to keep doing this. And I really appreciate it. All right. King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy might be significant. Let's see if it comes back up. What's going on for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs in October 2022? What's going on for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs? Capricorn in October 2022. Okay, here we go. Seven of Cups in your situation. Seven of Coins is the challenge. The Knight of Coins crowning you. The Eight of Wands in the foundation. The Magician in the past. The Empress in the near future. Pisces yourself, we have the Ten of Wands in your environment that you don't see coming. We have the Knight of Swords, Hopes and Fears. We have the Four of Wands. And in the outcome, we have the Queen of Coins. All right. Um, let's see. Bottom of the deck, the Four of Cups. For me, the boys are awake and they are. For me, be nice. Oh Lord, Tati, mommy, Tati, mommy's working. No, no, go do something else instead of smacking your brother. Sorry. <laughs> They, I swear to God, they wait until they know I'm on camera. Look at him. Charlie, no. Go. They wait until they know I'm on camera, and then they go nuts. All right. Four cups at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so this is a situation that it could be about an on-again, off-again situation, but it's, it's feeling a little bit empty, a little bit numb, because things are just not coming together. A um, bit of, like, wallflower energy. I'm not happy I can't tell you really why or I'm not happy but I don't really want to do anything about it I don't know what I want to do because we also have the seven of cups in the situation so this could be about just being confused this is where you know we're overwhelmed and we don't want to make any mistakes so we don't do anything seven of cups four of cups it's like no matter what people put in front of us we're not going to go with anything we're not going to commit to anything um, because we're just not sure okay Seven of Coins is the challenge. Either you need more time to think, that's how you feel, but I feel like for some of you, you have your mind set on something and it's just not coming together or it's taking forever to come together and it's almost like you're sabotaging yourself a little bit because you're not gonna look at other options. I don't know what you're telling yourself or why you're saying, you know, why you're telling yourself that you're not looking and you're not interested in other options, but the real reason is you're waiting to hear from this that's been taking forever to come together. Okay, because with the magician in the past, you started something already. You started something already, even if it was just a conversation, even if, if it was you putting the idea down on paper, even if it was an interview, you started something that you really want, okay? And the longer it takes for you to hear back from that, what you really want, the more you get in your feelings, We've all been there, right? Sad, disappointed. You start telling yourself things. Seven of Swords, self-sabotage, see? You can't make it up, I'm telling you. And you start just knocking down anything that's presented to you. In the foundation, we have the Eight of Wands. Speed is an issue, or the lack thereof. Crowning you, the Knight of Coins. Again, things are very slow. They're very, very slow. What I will say is, there's things going on beneath the surface that you're not aware of. There are things happening, but you just don't see it. What you're seeing is 
I keep waiting and nothing's coming in. How you view things is this is just taking for forever. I don't even know what to do with myself right now. But underneath the surface, what you don't see going on, things are moving. Things are moving. Let's, let's keep going. In your near future, we have the Empress, Taurus, Libra energy. But this is some sort of happiness, celebration, joy. This is increase in money. This is love, new love. We're going from the Magician to the Empress. So it's linked to this that you've already started. You're going to hear something back. That it's progressing, that they've shortlisted you, that they've selected you and they're just putting everything in place to make you an official offer. Something along those lines. And how you see yourself, we have the Ten of Wands. I feel like you're under a lot of pressure. So if, you know, this is your dream job that you're holding out for. You still have to pay the bills in the meantime so you're under pressure and stress and constraints of okay how do i keep doing what i need to be doing and fulfilling my responsibilities and my obligations while at the same time waiting for my dream job to come in do you know what i mean so you're carrying a lot i feel like you've got a lot of irons in the fire i feel like you are taking on a lot of different jobs or temporary stuff or supporting here and there uh just to make sure that you can cover your responsibilities and you don't have to sacrifice this thing that you really want that's taking a long time to reach you. Does that make sense? In your environment, we have the Knight of Swords. What you don't see coming is that things are about to speed up. And this would be around the third week, fourth week of the month. There's going to be a very quick shift in the energy with the Knight of Swords where you're gonna have to hit the ground running, Capricorn. A decision is being made very quickly and you're just gonna have to get with the program very quickly in hopes and fears we have the four of wands you're getting what you want I feel like you don't even have time to <laughs> to think about it you don't even have time to double check you don't even you know what I mean it's a victory it's celebration you get the job you get the home you get the the commitment you get your desired outcome, whatever it may be. But I also feel like for for some of you, you're not sure you can trust it almost because either it's a case of why is it now moving so quickly? It's been taking forever and now all of a sudden it's moving so quickly. What if someone messed something up? What if something's not right here? You know, because it doesn't, it's not consistent. So I feel like for some of you, you're doubting it a little bit. In your outcome, we have the Queen of Coins, and this is like the lesser energy of the Empress. So this is like higher level communication, right? This is happening, this is what we're thinking, this is what we're planning. And with the Queen of Pentacles and the outcome, I feel like this is where it's put down into the ground, it's grounded, it's, it's putting down roots, it's making it real and practical. So this could be where they're confirming, yes, you, uh, we've selected you, expect to see the contract in the mail, and then this is you actually starting and starting to do the work and starting to do the job. Do you know what I mean? This is the, the confirmation and the promise of abundance with the Empress. And this is where you actually start on that path. And abundance can be money, can be good health, can be love with the Empress. So Capricorn, I feel like you're going to have to try to be patient. I know you've been patient, don't shoot me. <laughs> don't shoot the messenger. Um, it's coming. Whatever this is that you really want, that you have started already, I'm working on it is coming um, try to again just keep doing what you've been doing that's the best I can I, the best way I can put it keep doing what you've been doing all right try not to sulk try not to lose hope try not to get into this negative mindset because it may cost you right when we get in the four cups energy and we just like I don't even care about this anymore we may make some rash decisions right we may just say, you know what, never mind, I'm just going to choose something else. And it could be a spur of the moment decision, it could be an impulse decision that completely changes the course of things. Okay? 
So with the Knight of Coins, this is asking you to stick to the plan until you see movement because you, there's a lot going on behind the scenes, Capricorn, that you don't see. To you, it looks like nothing hap nothing happening. To you, it looks like a dead end, but there's a lot going on behind the scenes. Okay, this is a time to go on faith. You will receive signs and symbols and synchronicities. I don't know if you will see them necessarily because you're in a very practical factual mindset from what I can see in these cards okay there's not a lot of um, room for wishy-washy hoping you know let's get more uh, cards out here for Capricorn let's clarify for Capricorn in October so with the seven of cups in your current situation we have the two of cups definitely about partnership for some of you it could be a romantic partnership it could be a business partnership it could be a job that's what you're dreaming about. That's what you're envisioning. That's your dream, your hope, your goal. Seven of coins as the challenge with the five of coins. But it's it's taking a long time. And to you, it looks like there's nothing happening. To you, it looks like this was a missed opportunity. To you, it looks like this is a dead end. To you, it looks like you got rejected and no one's telling you. And that's your challenge. Not to get into that mindset. Four of cups with the five of pentacles. Oh my God, you know the damage you can do in that kind of mindset? So just be very, very careful. The Eight of Wands and the Foundation, we have the Two of Wands. A choice is being made. Okay? You are being chosen for this. By this person, by this company, by this whatever. A choice is being made. It is in your favor. You just don't know about it yet. They're not publicizing it yet. The Magician in the recent past, we have the Four of Swords. I can see you've been waiting for this for quite some time. So I can understand that you're really doubting it right now. But don't give up before the miracle happens. If I don't see the Nine of Wands out here, I'm not, you know, I'm not going to be surprised if it pops out. But because you've been taking, it's been taking a long time. It has, it really has. But I feel like it's a whole process. It's a whole process. Some changes have to be made, changes have to be put in place. If it's about a person, I feel like they have to wrap up an old life to come to you. Uh, if it's about a job, I feel like they have to wrap up whoever is in that job currently, you know, exit them from the company, whatever, and set everything up so it's ready for you. For those of you, this is a new job and it needs to be created and it needs to be created by HR. Then it needs to be put on the system. Then it needs to be, you know, given all the roles, all the access, all the credentials, all the whatever then they can draft that contract and then they can do you know what I mean and I feel like you're not privy to that process so that's why you don't understand why it's taking so long this is why With the knight of coins crowning you we have the tower you feel like rebelling you feel like throwing in the towel and being like never mind f this there's frustration there's anger again be very mindful of self-sabotage and behavior this is not the time to buck the system. This is this is not the time. This is the time to stick to the plan and try to go on faith, right? Try to go on faith. You have a good idea. You have had a good conversation. You've had a good interview. You've got, had a good meeting. Okay, the Four of Swords tells me that you have been receiving signs and symbols maybe in your sleep, in your dreams, but you might not necessarily be seeing them or you don't trust them with the Seven of Coins and Seven of Cups. Be careful, okay? This is not the time to go nuts, Capricorn. With the Empress in the near future, we have the Knight of Wands. Change, travel, and strength. Maintain your position. I feel like there's going to be, like I say, in the near future, there's going to be some sort of travel going on, some sort of trip going on, or communication online with the Wands energy or over the phone where they give you some sort of confirmation of the, the general lines of the plan and that restores your confidence it stabilizes you, it restores your confidence I am doing the right thing, I am on the right track this is going to pay off for me Okay, so around mid-month this is coming in and it restores your faith and it restores your confidence and your drive to just keep going right? gives you confirmation that your resilience will pay off. It's not for nothing, okay? 
Ten of Wands, Three of Coins, and how you see yourself. I'm carrying this burden now, but I have a bigger goal behind it. I'm building something. I'm preparing for something. My sacrifice is towards something. Okay, this burden is temporary. I'm carrying this temporarily, but it's for something bigger. It will take me to something bigger. Okay, that's how you see yourself. That's your strength, your resilience. The Knight of Swords in your environment, we have the Wheel of Fortune. I'm telling you, listen, October is going to be a turning month, turning point month for you, Capricorn. Around the third week, things are just going to shift. I don't know what the planets are doing. Check with your favorite astrologer. But things are just going to shift for you. They're going to do a complete 180. You're going to have to hit the ground running and keep running. Okay, things are going to pick up speed in a way that you don't you won't even believe it. Wheel of Fortune with the Knight of Swords, trust me. The Four of Wands in Hopes and Fears, we have the King of Cups. Here it is again, popped out. So for some of you, it's about a water sign with the Two of Cups, King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. For others of you, this is about your own personal business or a, a love project of yours. A love, what is it? A love, oh, for the love of God, Charlie. Mommy. About that, I swear. They have lost their minds. Okay. Um, love project. Love, is that what it's called? Being picked up? I swear to God. Musa. Persevere, Capricorn. Persevere. Okay. Is it a love project? Or is it, no, labor of love, labor of love, that's what it is. So an idea, a project, a product, it's going to get picked up. It's going to get picked up is what I hear, okay? Or it's about a person, or your own business, or it's that job. The Queen of Coins in the outcome, Harvey, is Queen of Wands, Page of Swords, and the Three of Cups. Under the Four of Cups, we have the Seven of Swords. We saw that, so don't sabotage. This is not the time. Charlie, you're going to get in trouble, Mama. Charlie, leave him alone. Can I work, please? Go do something else. It's okay, Mommy. He went away. <laughs> I can't. I can't even. But we're going to power through. This is Harvey. Please don't burn yourself. There we go. He's like, Mommy, Charlie's pestering me. <sighs> Musa. Queen of Coins, Queen of Wands. Your resilience and persistence is going to be rewarded. This is recognition. This is popularity. This is fame. I'm telling you, if you're trying to get something off the ground like a business or a labor of love, whatever that means to you, a product, an idea, a film, a song, album, whatever, especially with that, okay? You're going to get recognition. You're going to get exposure. Page of Swords. Here it is. Here's that contract. Sign on that dotted line. And then you can celebrate. Then you can party. <laughs> Three of Cups. And it's a new level for you, Capricorn. It will be. Whatever this is, it will be a new level. With these threes in here. Okay? New type of relationship, new level of commitment, new level of job, new level of salary, new level in terms of fame, popularity, recognition, your business. Like I said, bigger place to live if that's what, what it's about. Okay, so Capricorn, hang in there. This is not the time. I, I don't know if, if that's something that some of you say or one person says, I don't know, but I keep hearing this is not the time to buck the system. Stick to the plan. Stick to the plan. Charlie. Charlie for the love of God, man. Charlie. Can you can you stop, please? You're going to get a shower when I'm done. May not. Madness. Ecstatic ritual. Energy release. This is that tower energy. You just want to say, you know what? F it. F it. All... I just never mind just I just want to choose something else just for the sake of it just to regain some level of control over the situation now is not the time Capricorn now is not the time to go nuts okay to go off course nope 
couple more for Capricorn. Oracle Energy and Advice. Okay, Capricorn. The call of the night, daring adventure, excitement. This is what's coming in. You just have to stick with it, okay? Just stick with it. You're going to get that call, Capricorn. Take my word for it. You're going to get that call. When is the full moon this month? That's when you're going to get the call. Is it around second, third week, fourth week? I don't even know. But for some of you, that's confirmation. Around the full moon is when you are getting that call of, yes, this is happening, or here's the contract expect seed in the mail or whatever the past a prison bitterness grudge refusal to let go this is that four of cups five of pentacles energy please try to just not focus on what is not working what you don't see coming together it's very very important perspective is very very important you see how you know there's a cake there but it looks like a tower behind her Again, it's a reminder, and this is not the time to go nuts. This is not the time to be the rebel. This is not the time to buck the system, just to prove a point, okay? Stick with the plan against all odds, despite what you see happening, because you don't see anything happening, right? There's a lot going on beneath the surface, Capricorn. You have to. This is a time to have faith. This is a time to believe in yourself, to believe in your product, to believe in your idea to believe that you deserve this, to believe that it's coming, okay? And to just use that to power through. I'm telling you, around mid-month, you will receive some sort of confirmation that this is coming, that this is happening, and it will restore your faith, and it will restore your confidence in this. So you're just gonna have to power through till about mid-month, okay? Love conquers all. Enduring loyalty. I mean, what am I telling you? What am I telling you? <laughs> you can't make it up. Enduring loyalty, eternal love, lasting commitment. This is what's coming. Your loyalty to this is being tested. Your loyalty to yourself is being tested. Your loyalty to um, your faith in yourself. Okay, do you believe you deserve this? If you do, just power through. Use that as your strength. Okay? Be loyal to your product. Be loyal to your idea. Be loyal to this situation, to this person, to the dream that you have for yourself. Now is the time to use that loyalty as your strength until you see movement. All right, and I'm telling you, it's coming, Capricorn. All right, so tell me how I resonate with the reading. If you do, tell me if this helps you because I can see you're getting frustrated, I can see you're getting about ready to F it and to just you know what I mean. It's just not deal with it anymore. Now is not the time. So I really hope this helps you, okay? Watch your other placements as well. I hope you have a great month ahead, and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.